Welcome back everyone. The lovely Miss Michelle joins us in this one. Hello everyone. We're looking at new anomalies I discovered at a site in Borea Sirtis in Utopia Planitia. My apology if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly. Pedestal crater in Utopia Planitia. This is the high-rise photograph, the name they gave this one, and it was acquired on the 27th of February 2016 at 30.7 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing you images cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at that strange pedestal land feature in this photograph and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white specks that are littered across this site. So it's right to the northern part of Utopia Planitia in the northern mid-latitudes at 58 degrees, 51 minutes north, 72 degrees, 22 minutes east. And we'll zoom in on the first item to the bottom center of this one. The scale indicator over here gives you an approximate size of how these anomalies compare to one another. These are quite huge. This one over here is about 10 to 12 meters across. Let's have a close-up look. These were done using the image upscaler called Gigapixel AI. Check out the strange features in the center of this item. Got three similar ones in a triangular pattern right there in the center. Could be natural, but it does look rather strange. Let's zoom in on that item over there, folks. This is about 10 by 10 meters in size. And this long, narrow, rectangular part makes this piece look highly artificial, in my opinion. And then the strange disc, sort of on its side, embedded on this U-shaped part. No problem. Michelle accidentally dropped her earphones there. <laughs> right, then we zoom in on the block to the top left. This one's about five meters long. Get the unusual geometry of this piece. Very symmetrical, nice right angles and straight edges. Don't know if that there could be a slot or a groove or whether these are two pieces next to one another. It's very unusual to see perfect blocks like that. And then we're looking at the item to the left and it's about 10 meters long. On top of this larger part that's got the same shape. Check at this. So highly symmetrical. Don't know what to make of that, folks. Some type of structure or carving or sculpture, who knows. Let's have a look at the item to the left. Again, it's got some nice geometry to it, straight edges and right angles. Uniformity in the thickness. And then on the side, it seems to have like a rounded design. There's another block covered in sand and dust over here to the left. Right, another unusual part, about 12 meters across, with this weird oval shaped piece right there in the center. And it's got a slot on the one side over here. Looks like that's like a flap or something on the side. I've got a right angle to it. And then the disc shaped piece to the right. That's about nine meters across. So some nice geometry to this piece. And a smaller part in the center. It's almost like it's got this uh, convex shape to it. Let's zoom in 
on that one. Very, very odd as well. So we have a triangular shape. Very unusual protrusion on the one side. I've shown you one in the past that looks very similar to this. It looks like a ship's rudder. <coughs> Not that this is facts, but this is a very, very unusual piece. And then to end it, let's check out this part. Again, very unusual. Smaller dome-like part in the center. Okay, let's shoot up to the western edge of Utopia Planitia, northern mid-latitudes. We have Boria Serta Savia to the south. And there's a brief look at those anomalies once again. And then for good measure, let's have a look at some anomalies. These are about 300 kilometers to the south, near Pyramus Fosse. This is what they looked like originally when I featured them, with upscales using PhotoZoom Pro 7. Let's have a look at the new close-ups using uh, Gigapixel AI. More of these very unusual right angled blocks. This is also quite an amazing find. I've seen a couple of those in some of my recent videos as well. So check out those two blocks and then uh, this one over here again. Some similarities in the anomalies in this region of Mars. Let us know in the comments below what you think of these. What could they be? Are they part or pieces of ancient ruins, megalithic ruins like we find here on Earth? Or is it just random geology that produces these shapes? Michelle and I will see you in the next one soon. Bye everyone. Cheers for now.